Hey guys, what's happening? So, I've actually had this camera for about 10 years, actually more than 10 years, and it's a full HD Samsung camcorder, but uh, the viewfinder started getting kind of weird on me. Um, I haven't used it for a couple of years, but I charged the battery last night. So it, it turns on, let's see how the, the viewfinder is blank, if you can see that. And if you wiggle it, sometimes it comes on. It, sometimes you'll, I'll get some video. See that? You'll get video. It will actually come online. So it makes me think that there is... Yeah, you didn't see that. There, there it is. See that right there? You can kind of see the, the screen. And as soon as I get to a certain point, it gets messed up. So um, I'm going to try to take this apart and see if I can figure out if it's a loose ribbon cable. I mean, I can see a ribbon cable that goes across in there. Either a loose ribbon cable or some kind of bad contact. Um, I'm suspecting that I might have jacked up my ribbon cable because I noticed that there was a lot of like metal shavings in here. Like this part is like magnetic right here. And it somehow had like grabbed a bunch of like metal shavings I had. And maybe that actually like frayed the cable. But let me uh, get this apart. So there's actually only one manual schematic I've seen online. It's actually on the Sears website. Um, you know, that actually shows, shows the thing disassembled. So the screen on the top is like there's a screw, so I'm able to get my my shop Jimmy in there and maybe get that apart. But I'm suspecting the ribbon cable. So all right, I'm gonna try to disassemble this. And we'll take it apart. All right. All right. So I was able to get my little shop Jimmy in there, and I'm just gonna go around it. So it's actually a great tool. I'll put a link where you can get it, but it's an awesome tool for fixing electronics, phones, tablets. All right. So I'm gonna get around that and get that off there. All right. So there's a couple of screws on there. I just noticed. So I'll get those off. It's kind of annoying, but the, the ribbon cable that goes across is actually permanently soldered to the board, whereas those, these ones actually have the uh, connectors on. So. Um, all right, let's see if I can get this thing figured out here. All right, this is becoming quite the headache. I have to totally take this whole thing apart to get to that board because I need to figure out what's up with that mount right there. All right, so that little top piece just came right off. It's attached to a couple of things here. I'm only going to give you, I'm only going to show you the uh, significant parts. I'm not going to. I've already spent about an hour trying to figure this out, so so now I should be able to get to the screws to get that cover off. But I'm mainly looking at that ribbon cable right there. All right, at least I know why my cam is not working anymore. A little piece right there broke off, but that was the thing that actually created the snapping action, the tension on there. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to find something again. It's also riveted too. All right, so that's that long ribbon cable I'm talking about. It goes from here all the way over there, and that's actually what powers the LCD. But yeah, look at that thing; it's wrapped around, so it's hard to figure out. I mean, you can't buy these things, so it's not. If I can't fix this, then this camera is pretty much useless. All right. All right, so I found the problem. This is an older camcorder, so I'm probably not going to find the part, but there's a little rip right there and that's ripping a bunch of the contacts so that is the cause of the issue so I'm gonna look on eBay or someplace where I can find this this part but I highly doubt it so this camera might be uh, bad so if there's actually a second part video then uh, that means I found the part so but that's actually what I narrowed it down to so hopefully this helps somebody um, Alright guys, cool, let me know.